Craig Adams here from WeddingFilmSchool.com and today I'm going to be going over some things that I wish I knew when I started out. So four years ago when I started wedding videos, you know, it would have been awesome to have this advice and I wish someone told me. So I'm telling you right now. So if you're starting out, make sure you listen up. So my first piece of advice that I wish I knew is that you just have to keep producing content. Ira Glass talks about it the best in his famous uh, Vimeo video uh, where he talks about taste. And he kind of describes where, you know, this 20-year-old-ish kind of filmmaker creative, we're making content and we have this idea of what we want it to be like and these expectations, but it just isn't there. We keep making these videos and the, this piece, these pieces of music and like this art, and it just isn't as good as we want it to be. And like, as no matter how much we try, it just isn't there yet. So this happens to everyone and it's perfectly okay. I wish I knew that, you know, it's gonna take time to get to the point where I need to be. It's not an overnight thing. And uh, you know, that's perfectly okay. You just have to keep making content no matter what. It, don't, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, just keep making it because it will get better. My second piece of advice is that you're always going to get a better wedding film if you get to know your couple. Um, so that comes down to the moment that they inquire with an email or a phone call. Um, just try to be personable, you know, get to know who they are and, and why they're together and where they came from and where they're hoping to be. Just as people, you know, you can talk about the wedding because they want to talk about that, that's involved, but talk about their engagement, their proposal, where they came from, what they do for work, everything. Get to know these people down to a basic level. And, um, you know, then you can talk about how your studio and you as a filmmaker fits into their story. Um, you really can't make the day about you. It never is. Uh, you have to find a way that your studio fits and, you know, the couple fits for the studio. That's what I always say to my couples when I talk to them on the phone. I just need some time and, you know, we need to meet and chat over some coffee or something just to see if we're a good fit. So the third piece of advice that I kind of wish I knew is just the importance of deadlines. So it all comes down to you. You know, you can blame other people all you want, but all it does in the end is just hurt you. You know, you can't control anyone. The only thing that you can control is your own thought, you know, your own feeling, your own actions. So. If you don't make a deadline, whose fault is that? You could blame people, but that's not gonna do any good. Um, you can hold yourself accountable. You need to keep those commitments, hit those deadlines, whether it's this film is need, needs to be done by this date, I'm going to call you by this day, um, I'm going to keep this communication open. You know, You just have to really keep those commitments and hold yourself accountable for that. So I always thought that there would be this point, you know, this grand moment when you've made it and like you're always looking for this point and working towards it as a goal. And then once you have it, everything's easy or everything's different. You know, that moment never comes and I kind of wish I knew that from the beginning. Um, if you think there will ever be a point when you stop learning and stop trying your hardest to try to get whatever your long-term or short-term short-term goals are, you know, that's crazy. That moment never really comes. Um, there's never a moment when you can retire. So you just never stop learning. Always keep yourself humble and uh, looking for what else is new, you know. Um, if a new camera comes out, give it a try. Who knows? The DSLR isn't the end-all be-all. So uh, whatever it is, keep your, your eyes open and, you know, just keep looking and keep learning. I'd say the last piece of advice that I wish I could tell my younger self is to not worry so much about other people and what they're doing. As far as the films that they're making, what they're charging, what they're doing on Instagram, uh, you really shouldn't care. Uh, it all comes down to you and that's not selfish. It's, it's, it's the opposite, you know? You have to be, because if you get jealous of other people or you gossip or do something that like that, uh, it's a reflection of yourself and how you feel insecure about your own work. So just keep that in mind, you know? Uh, everything, every decision we do is to help us in some way. Um, and sometimes it's, it's, create, it's a creative way to solve a problem, but it, it can be unhealthy in the end. So um, just make sure that you just keep things 100. <laughs> what you build personally and business, uh, businessly, businessly, businessly. My, my yeah. <laughs> yes. Craig is right. His notes are correct. 